Oh, sh hundred, hundred. Oh, the, so these guys. Now I get it. My neighbors are. Okay, episode five, and we are going to find out what that neighboring hut is all about. There's a cold one, and that could really help us with this uh, water problem that tough as nail mud is causing. We might just keep some water in the cold one if, as I expect, it is a hostile place. Let's go. I just made my first bow and arrows just before I found the infinity bow. So, um, yeah. Oh, sh hundred, hundred, oh, the, so these guys, now I get it. My neighbors are illegious. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that other guy? Yes. Yeah. This is their place. Uh, there's probably more of them. Yeah, I'm not going to check out anything before, before I have sort of secured the place. Let's just change in the melee weapon. Oh, oh. Yeah, they were, this is a nice place, but I'm not sure if they spawn here again. And if there's any more of them. I just gotta raid the place there. Yeah, yeah, how nice. Yep. Always oh, useful. And don't hear any more of them. Oh, uh, oh yeah, no, that's my shield, right? Yes, yes, oh, that's cool. Just what I needed to get some iron. And I also actually think this will make for my water canteen for uh, tough as nails, which actually takes hand of that problem I had with my water. So, yeah, and. I think I just leave these lanterns in here as they are actually. No, they got torches. I got like this. And this one as well. Yeah. Now that one, that belongs in my place. Yep. They only need one torch here. And is that up a lid as well? Actually, it might. Just move in here, but really, it's a bit scary to live in a house full of bad guys. So I think I just oh, that was uh, that was the cord on here. Just take the, the things and then get on with it. Now you see, I got another mod installed that recycles metals in the furnace. So these chains, I believe, should actually be recyclable. Okay, let's go. So we're going home. Hope you don't meet any more of these uh, editors. I think I'll just come back one later time just to check up if they respawn. And if they don't, that was a really, that was a vampire hunter. If they don't, then I might just take over that place instead of this one here. But actually, it's going quite well for me here, so I think I might just stay. Now we got the cold one. I like that. And I think it should just be put thing like so. And can I actually put bottles of water in? Yeah, I can. Or we're going to do that. We're going to fill it up a bit until we get a bucket. And we are going to make a shield. 
So yeah, here it goes. Like four of those and just start to have a lot of leftover material. This one here. Then we got two bars left here. And oh yeah, a canteen, I believe they're called. Let's see. That's probably like so. Yeah, that is empty canteen. So this is from uh, Toughest Nails that uh, takes care of the problem you have with the dehydration. A smithing table that should obviously go close to the grindstone. That'll be here. So, like so. Let's just cook these. And they don't, I think I just try my luck with the recycling. Let's see. And yeah, let's see how that works. Yeah, you can see it has two, three, four, five water in it. Remember to equip this one. We are going to try recycling runestone locks. Yeah, let's see if that actually works. This should give me a nugget of iron. And I really like this recycling aspect. A bar of iron, really? Okay, that's my bucket if I want to. I think I actually, uh, I like buckets. But I also like an iron pickaxe. And mostly I like, you know, having the potential to make whatever i need is it time to sleep and i think we can just make another trip here i would like to explore that very big tower i saw just in episode one because that might actually be my more permanent base yeah and of course you maybe you should just take a look at the mini map at the upper left corner my base is down north. You can see a little N in the bottom of the minimap. And that's the way to my base. And of course, south is then up. And you can see my airship is just on the minimap. That is a big white uh, thing. And this is the one here. So this airship is from some structure mod I put on. I'm not quite sure which one. And this is then for the for the storyline be the, the ship that Funkian, my character here, traveled to this place in. And uh, he just left it up there. Okay. Oh, yeah. And you can see all these rifts there and uh, just appeared uh, as a part of this 1.18 ecological change that we all know so well now. And you might just say that he's not really gone that further in his project of civilizing anything. I was just getting started. But, oh, sheep. Well, it's a long series, this. So, and maybe this will be. An important step. Who knows who lives in here? Oh, that's a lot of that doors here, let's see. So yeah. Oh, spider webs, that's usually not a good thing. What's this place? I hear no sounds. It's probably gonna change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For this much. Oh, look at that. He's a villager. A zombified villager. I don't think I can uh, help him at the moment. I. Oh, this gate might. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Sorry. What did you say? I like you hearing this voice. Let me get a little bit away from all this. Just to heal up. We are on hard, you know. What? Oh, this is a water problem. Yeah, good thing I have my canteen now. Yeah. Got no water bottle, I just have to get down and get some more water before I continue that. So, it seemed like a place full of, of actually villager zombies. So uh, I might just not kill them off. But they did have an awful lot of loot. Okay, so. 
You must going back in. Now we know where the game is. So I just so into clear off the ground floor, I believe. There was this gate that uh, prevented them from getting down there. I just find out if there spawns anybody down in the lower level. And if I don't, then I can just easily go to the place. I would like a lot of these lanterns. This might just drive one crazy. Let's get rid of these. Thank you. And we are going for the sword. Here they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, come out here in the rain. That's nice. They are actually some some people says man. So these guys need some help. Huh? And they're all armored up. It might be X time then. Yeah. Okay. Now I must close off that that door up there, and then concentrate on the lower floor. But it's it that can be no accident. I were all villages. Yeah. You're gonna stay up there, please, and then we're going to put some torches around here. Oh, this is a very interesting place, actually. I like it so much. And you know, of course, having zombies on the upper floor might just be a bit annoying, but imagine all the villages I can get from this. I just need to have an incredible amount of golden apples and an ability to make potions. Yeah, okay. Oh, exciting. Gonna clean this up. I'm just going to take it all. Carry on the oh, this is creepy. It definitely did have to go level for later. So it seems now the problem is really to get the potions. But I guess these guys are not going anywhere. Yeah, I don't really like to kill zombie villagers, you know, they're, they're people too. And we might just focus on the other adventures here. So, well, there's barbed arrows, no idea what that is, but it sounds fun. And lost eye, okay, that sounds great. Blessed salt, <laughs> that might also be important. And this holy water, oh yeah, that sounds great. I think I'm just... Heading home. So that's my blimp. It's really uh, a good indicator of a direction. And I lost, oh yeah, uh, there's a zombie and there was a creeper as well. I think we're just going by the water. Oh, I got no idea what I really have my hands on here, but it seems like there was a bit of vampire items and something about smithing. And yeah, well, just general some of the loot for all the mods here. As you can tell, the big problem here will be to sort of have an overview of all the different things I find as compared to normal Minecraft, where you are lucky you get anything at all. But this is not a problem here. Well, what's over there? Was that the. I think that's just the. Yeah, that's it. I think we got the hobbit hole somewhere around here. Oh, I just have to take a look. Is that the hunters? What is that? Oh man, I got to investigate. That doesn't make sense. Now, I'm quite sure these are the hunters, but is there a whole village just Oh man, I didn't see that. Be careful here. Remember to get hydrated. 
and getting food because uh, it's just no time to die. It is a village. Oh, I didn't see that. I think, what's that guy? Oh, oh, that's some sort of a scarecrow, I think. Now, this might just be an abandoned village. I think so. Maybe it's sort of, yeah, now this, look at these great details. This is definitely from uh, mine colonies. So, mine colonies spawn these abandoned colonies that you can start your own colony from. See, there's a simple house here. Always some very good details in the uh, in the blocks that uh, this one here. Yeah, no colony has been founded in this land yet. Seek out the town hall to start a new colony. So somewhere around here there will be a town hall. Okay, so that was really something. Uh, it's an abandoned village. Not get all, all that much from it. Okay, I just going back to my house and driving on this and then coming back. Yeah, so that's definitely the next thing to explore. You know, the great tower. Oh man, uh, Enderman. Oh, <laughs> that was a vampire slayer, he spooked me. I think it's time to just get home here.